Hey, happy internet people. It's Jason Collins with ManufacturedHomes.com once again. We are in Bowling Green, Kentucky at Kentucky Dream Homes, and we're about to take a look at the Briar Ritz by Deer Valley. This home has it all, and I'm, not be, I'm like, I'm not even exaggerating. We've got nine-foot ceilings. We've got arched doorways. We've got bullnose drywall corners. We've got tray ceilings in the master outdoor living space. This 2,500 an 80 square foot triple wide, that's three, triple wide home has got everything you could possibly imagine. Let's jump in and take a look. Guys, we're taking a look at the Briar Ritz, once again by Deer Valley. This is an absolutely gorgeous home. One thing I did want to point out, that this home actually has Zone 3 insulation. Now, what does Zone 3 insulation mean? The United States is broken up into three temperature zones. Zone 1 is the lower, the southern part. That's going to be Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, that area. And then as we move further up, the requirement for insulation becomes more significant because in colder temperatures, you're going to want more insulation. So even though we're in Bowling Green, Kentucky, which is kind of in the middle there, you get the benefit of having a home that is insulated for extreme cold climates. Zone 3 extends all the way up to the U.S. Canadian border where temperatures can easily drop into the negative double digits in the wintertime. So Jason, what does that mean for a buyer in Kentucky? What that means is, is it's going to be easier to heat your home in the winter. It's going to be easier to cool your home in the summer. Lower heating and cooling costs are always a good thing. But let's take a look at this gorgeous kitchen. Now, we talk a lot about kitchen cabinets and fit and finish in modern manufactured homes and Deer Valley does a great job. They do an absolutely fantastic job of sort of breaking the stigma of cheap cabinets. And that was one of the things years ago that was really sort of a negative when it came to manufactured housing. The cabinets were just, they were cheap. I mean, that's really the only way you can put it. Cabinetry was one of the places that they kept costs lower and they cheated on that and that's not the case anymore. These homes are built to codes that exceed residential code standards. So if you're looking for a quality product, if you're looking for something that's going to be durable, if you're looking for something that has a great potential to appreciate, depending on what part of the country you're in, manufactured housing is an absolutely excellent choice for that. And one of my favorite things are the soft closed doors and obviously that's standard. One of the other things I wanted to point out is this kitchen layout has oversized drawer over door cabinet configurations. If you can remember the manufactured homes of the past, they had a little galley kitchen and it had a little four or if you were lucky, a five drawer bank. None of that anymore. Everywhere you've got a set of double doors, you've got a drawer over those doors and that just gives you more space to store your stuff. Ample counter space, gigantic center island, stainless steel apron sink. We've got the little retractable, like, what is this, a vegetable washer? Maybe that's what that's for. We've got a flush mount cooktop and a commercial style vent hood. Guys, this kitchen is any cook's dream. And one of the things that I like about it is it's part of this open living concept floor plan, which means the kitchen is seamlessly connected to the living area and that is seamlessly connected to the dining area. And if you look behind me, you can see these absolutely gorgeous arched doorways. We'll pan up in just a moment. You take a look at the ceiling detail in this thing is absolutely fantastic. Guys, the open concept floor plan is something that we see almost as a standard feature anymore, especially in larger manufactured homes. This one is no exception. The, the flow moves right into the dining area. What I like about that is, is your family can be separated doing their own thing. Somebody can be cooking, somebody can be in the living room, maybe watching TV, playing games, hanging out with the kids. Somebody can be at the table doing their homework and everyone still remains connected because there's no sort of door separating you from them. One of my favorite things about this house is the outdoor living space. Let's pop out there and take a look. 
Before we shoot outside really quickly, I wanted to show you guys the pantry area in this home. Every area of this home is quite frankly fantastic. No area disappoints and the pantry is no exception. I want you to take a look at the shelf possibilities. You even have a window in the pantry so you have plenty of light to see what you're doing. I think that's incredible. Like I think more homes should incorporate natural light in the pantry. My wife loves natural light. She is a light and airy, light and bright lover. And when she comes into a house that has big windows and a lot of light, she is just like falling in love. And I'm sure you'll fall in love with this one. Let's pop outside. You know, outdoor living space is really becoming a thing, especially for people who live in temperate climates, places where you have sort of long spring and summer seasons. It just makes sitting out on the porch, entertaining, barbecuing, doing all those things, all the more enjoyable when you've got a nice outdoor space attached to your home. This home provides all of that for you. Plus, you've also got, in this particular one, a wood-burning fireplace. And I wanted to point out really quickly, Deer Valley, they really don't miss a single detail in this home. You actually have the outdoor space wired for power and cable or satellite television. And there's actually, we'll move this over so you can see, there's actually plugins there for internet connection. So if you're one of those people who likes to watch University of Kentucky win at football or more basketball, this is a great option. And for those of you who like to entertain, this is a perfectly positioned half bath right off of the outdoor living space. So if you're entertaining friends, they can come in, they can wash up, they can use the restroom right here without having to go into the private areas of your home. As you can see, guys, we've got the arched doorways at every doorway, hallways, going into the dining room, kitchen area. As we come into the private areas of the home, I wanna show you something that is really gonna be jaw-dropping. The utility room in this home is absolutely spectacular. Take a look at how much room we have in this utility room. Not only do you have a space for washer and dryer, you have a deep utility sink and a huge prep area over here, as well as a place that is double sized. You could actually put a deep freeze and an extra refrigerator in this space right here, which I think is amazing. And for those who are interested, we've actually got closet storage space here. Next to that is your heating and cooling, your HVAC unit. We've got space for the washer and dryer, as I said before. And right down here, we have a gigantic 50-gallon water heater. As a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home, we're going to take a look at the number two bedroom, and I think you guys will be surprised by the size. In addition to having two spacious bedrooms on this end of the house. Each one also has ample closet space. I apologize, these, uh, they get these homes set up and they have, a, they have to store a place for the additional duct work for the heating and air conditioning, trim and things like that. So we often find those in the closet, but it just sort of gives you an idea of the size of the closet that you're dealing with. Second bedroom's the same, they've got some stuff in there, so we're not gonna look at that one. But what we are gonna do next so we're gonna take a look at the master suite and I think that you will be surprised by what we find there. Welcome to the master suite. And there's a couple of details I wanna point out for you here. The ceiling in this room is not only nine foot sidewall, which really opens the room up and makes it even feel more spacious than it actually is, but the ceiling also has a recessed area with a ceiling fan as well as can lights. And I want you to see the trim. You know, one of the things over the years that was really sort of the hallmark or indicative of lower end manufactured homes was the trim. The trim was always sort of thin, narrow, not impressive. This house right here has got at least four inch trim all the way around and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. In addition to awesome trim, recessed ceiling, can lights and all that, I want you guys to take a look at this incredibly awesome walk-in closet. Plenty of space, hanging rails that go around the majority of the closet, an entire end filled with shelves. This closet has enough storage space for just about anything that you would need to store, but I know what you wanna see. 
You want to see the bathroom. You're saying, Jason, all of this is gorgeous, but what does the master bath look like? Can you say spa? Giant soaker tub, fully tiled walk-in shower, his and hers sinks. Guys, this bathroom, it rivals, it does, it really rivals a spa in all of the things that you have available. Soaker tub, again, these are things that we're starting to see show up in pretty much all of the high-end homes, especially homes by Deer Valley. Deer Valley does a great job of making sure that they're putting the options, the features, and the accessories in homes that you guys are looking for, the things that you find important, this is no exception. We're really seeing a lot of style evolution in manufactured housing. This one is actually a triple wide, and I'll explain really quickly what that means. Most of your manufactured housing that you're probably used to seeing is either a single wide or a double wide, and they all have that sort of quintessential manufactured home long front look to them, and that's not the case with this. The triple wide has what's known as the pod, which is this section right here, and it extends beyond the front of the house, which really breaks up that long profile that we would normally associate with manufactured homes. With the Briar Ritz, it really provides a farmhouse look to manufactured housing, and I think that just, that's just, it's a win-win for everyone because not only does it look great, but this home is gonna fit in with any home in your neighborhood. People are gonna be able to look at your home and not identify it as a manufactured home because of the way that this triple wide really presents a new innovative look to manufactured housing. All right guys, this is the Briar Ritz by Deer Valley. We are here at Kentucky Dream Homes in Bowling Green, Kentucky. If you're interested in finding out more about this home, you can look them up at KentuckyDreamHomes.com. I'm Jason Collins for ManufacturedHomes.com, and we'll see you next time.